So once you get your new RMS mill uh, on site, in place, hooked up, everything's good to go, everything's running, you're gonna wanna go through the parallel and the zero process. Out of the factory, our guys are gonna go through and like do the parallel and the zero process, but it's always good to kind of make sure that everything is still in place and that it didn't shift or anything like that in shipping. Uh, and then it's also just good to familiar, familiarize yourself with the steps of kind of how to move the rolls in and out. So uh, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is, um, if you look at the, the dials here, it's gonna look like this where it's at about 10 thou. So each one of these tick marks on here on this adjustment is one thousandth of an inch. So if you see the big one, that's 10 thousandths. And the 1.5 is 15 and so on. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is move the adjustment out. And I'm gonna to go to five. So another important thing, every time you move your roll adjustment out, you wanna go past about half of a revolution and then bring it back in. That takes out any slop that's in the adjustment. So I move this one out to five or 50 thou, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing over on this one. Again, going halfway past and then bringing it back. So now we have them both set at 50 thou, and we're gonna do what's called the parallel process. So what we're doing is we're gonna move this roll in and normally you would do it with the mill running. I don't have this mill hooked up, so obviously I can't, but I can uh, kind of simulate it and show you what you'll be looking at and what it's gonna sound like. So with this parallel process, you're moving a roll in on one side and you're gonna wait until it, you hear the ticking of the rolls hitting each other and then you're gonna stop and, um, and move on to the next step from there. So the first thing you're gonna do Move the roll in. You're going clockwise till you hear the rolls ticking. Once you hear them ticking, you're gonna stop and you're gonna move this little dial right here. And you might need to grab an Allen wrench and loosen up that set screw so that you can move this to zero. So you hear a tick, stop moving the adjustment in and put the dial on zero. And then you're going to move this out, going half a revolution past five or 50, and then bringing it in. And now you're gonna go over to the other side and you can do the exact same thing. You're gonna move it in, move that adjustment in until you hear the rolls ticking. And then you're gonna stop, you're gonna adjust that dial, put that on zero, and then bring it back. And you're gonna keep doing that on either side until they hit on zero. So after you do that, um, now you know that your rolls are parallel. So the back rolls that are stationary, you know that they are completely parallel with the roll that is on the front. So now we're gonna go from the parallel process to the zeroing process. And what you're doing is you're gonna walk each side of the rolls in five thousandths of an inch at a time. So you're gonna go from five to the 4.5. And you're gonna walk that in on either side, back and forth, until you get to the, the two and a half or the 25 thousandth mark. Once you get to that, you're gonna stop and you're gonna redo the parallel process. So I'm gonna put my wrench on here and I'm gonna move it in until I hear the rolls tick again. So it's gonna be before zero, it's uh, usually around that you know, 10, 15 mark. So you're gonna, you're gonna hear the rolls tick, you're gonna stop. And again, you're just gonna move that, uh, that dial so that it's at zero. And then again, same thing as before, we're moving it out, going half a revolution pass, and then bringing it back into that 25 thou. And you're doing the same thing again on this side until they're hitting on zero. And then from there, you know that they're parallel again. So we walk them in again, five thou at a time till you get to about the one and a half or 15 thou. 
And then what I do personally when I get to this point is I'll take this side in until I hear it, hear the rolls tick. And then I'll just note where it's at, like say it's at, say I get to, to five, then I will go back out, go back to my 1.5, and then I'll do the same thing over here, bring the roll in till they tick, note where it hits, and then from there, I know that my, my zero mark was 10 thou away, so I'll put it at that mark, and then from there, you can move your adjustment out to um, whatever you're going to use to actually run your grain. Um, starting out, we usually recommend that you do like a six and a half on top and then five on the bottom. And then after that, you know, use your, your slide gate and your sample port to kind of adjust, manipulate that grind until you get, you know, what you're looking for. If you want it to be a little finer, you're gonna move the rolls in, you want it to be coarser, move them back out, kind of play around with it a little bit, check it with a sample port, and kind of keep going until you find your ideal grind.